What's happening, guys? So, I just watched Bird Box. I'm not even going to pretend like that's a good movie. I'm really not. It's not a good movie. How the fuck that became a challenge? How the fuck that movie even got that popular is beyond me. Um, Machine Gun Kelly didn't need to be in it at all. His part was useless completely. The girl from Lucifer, same thing. Her part was completely useless. It was like they were a walk-on role because they walked right the fuck off. Um, and you'd never find out what happened to him. It's basically a two-hour movie of you figuring out everybody pretty much dies except for three people. That's it. You don't see no monsters. In fact, it's a ghost, pretty much. It's not even a monster. There's no physical form. The wind blows. The trees shake. That's it. So it's more like it's a paranormal entity coming and fucking up people, fucking with their minds, making them commit suicide, just like uh, the trees did in The Happening. That was a lame-ass movie. This was a lame-ass movie. The fact they did it blindfold means they had some little bit of interesting ideas, but not enough that this was good. The script was terrible, and the reason I say the script was terrible was because this movie spans five years. Five years. That's all this movie spans, okay? And when it starts off, you're kind of at the, the end of the five-year gap, okay? This is where they're going, and they're going here, and the whole movie could have been wrapped up in all of an hour and 30 minutes, to be honest with you. It didn't need to be two hours. They felt like it was giving depth to the character or something, maybe? I don't know. But when the main character who Sandra Bullock ends up with dies, you don't feel no type of way. You don't. You, you barely care at all. Um, when she names both of them at the end of it, you know why she didn't name them. She didn't want to get attached to them just in case something happened. You know what I'm saying? So this movie has a lot of good parts that are just entertaining to watch because you're like, wow, that's interesting. But the overall effect of this movie is it's not good. It's really not. It's basically a shittier version of a shitty movie already, which was The Happening. Um, it really relied heavily on A-list, high-profile uh, actors and actresses. John Malkovich is in it. Um, Sandra Bullock, those are both two very high-profile actors and actresses that um, you don't just turn a blind eye to when they're in a movie. Um, the guy from uh, Identity, one of my all-time favorite uh, mental mindfuck movies. You have Identity, Shutter's Island, those are like the same identical movies almost. Inception is another one where it's just there's so much going on, it's almost like you gotta watch it 17 times just to make sure you catch everything. Um, the guy at the end of Identity, the, the guy who everything was in his head, that's the guy who's in Bird Box. I didn't see that coming. Um, it is very predictable. There is no I don't see that coming moment. Like The part you don't see coming, spoilers, is the fact this is a uh, blind school for the blind where they find sanctuary and it had reminiscence when it did that of the book of Eli which was basically the Bible only it didn't have a Bible written it was the final letters so that it was kind of like the surprise to find out Denzel Washington was blind in the book of Eli that's all that was that's the biggest shocker you're gonna get and yes it's a spoiler but again this movie really doesn't do any justice to as add reason as to why it got so fucking popular it, it's a horrible fucking movie I'm sorry if you like it more power to you but the fact is the script was awful when the movie spans all over a five year world and they go five years ago five years later what who thought that was a good idea I'm not going to go into a rant. This video has got to be like five minutes, maybe five minutes, 30 seconds.
But that is some really terrible fucking script direction. And the fact not one person caught it, not one person said, hey, this shouldn't be here, just shows you how lazy the editing was. Sorry, it's just the way it is. Um, Bird Box, a Netflix original movie, has, if you haven't watched it, just watch the preview that they have and move on because it's not going to get any better than that. It is what it is. Episode 3 coming up uh, in a little while. And that is going to be How It Ends. Which is a weird title for a movie. One. Two, it has for Forrest Whitaker in it. Which is a high profile actor in my book. Um, A-list celebrity all the way. Um, I'm hoping this movie is good. I've seen it before. Um, I didn't like it the first time I saw it, and that was because I thought this is really stupid. They just did a uh, apocalyptic scenario movie before. I didn't think another one was needed. Maybe I'll like it this time. I don't know. That's why I'm out here is to get this. Anyway, we'll go watch that, and I'll see you guys later on.